Now in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Apple iOS 14 changes that happened pre-pandemic that forced businesses to not only change, but level up. If you were in the e-commerce space pre-pandemic, chances are you would have made a lot of sales, you would have had a lot of traffic directed to your store, especially through Facebook ads. At the time I was running Facebook ads and the ROAS or the uh, ROI was phenomenal. I remember getting ROAS 20 plus, 30 plus, 50 plus, and I've got the screenshots to prove it. I've got the videos to prove it. You can go to my IG to check those out in the story highlights. I'm so, so glad that I documented that part of the journey because looking back, if I didn't have the proof of not only the sales, but the ROAS, all the methods that I used at the time, me telling you the story, that's all it'll be. It'll be a story with no receipts. And I'm a huge advocate with showing the proof, especially the receipts, because in this day and age with AI, with the amount of content that's being produced and forced onto the newsfeed, you just don't know who's legit and and who's telling porkies. So back to the subject of iOS 14. If you've been hiding under a rock, let me cut a long story short. What happened, especially over the last, I think five plus years, Apple was trying to negotiate with Facebook along the lines of, hey, because you're using our operating system, our platform, we believe you should be paying us some sort of fee or we should get a percentage of what you are making in terms of the ad revenue that Facebook was generating. What? What the? Facebook turned around outright said, no, stuff you and carried on. <laughs> Apple then came back and created a feature where as soon as they made the update, any Apple user, they got a notification asking them, would you like to receive ads? 1.5 was being rolled out by Apple. Apple was imposing this new change that, to limit the amount of data that advertisers could track on their users on websites and in apps on their platform. And so Facebook and Google and other companies had to come up with solutions to satisfy Apple if they wanted to continue to run ads to iOS users. And this was the beginning of the end for Facebook. So obviously anyone would click, no, I do not want to receive ads anymore. As a result, when you run ads on Facebook after that point, there was no way to track these movements of your audience in terms of all over the web. And the Facebook pixel no longer worked like it used to. And if you've run ads before on Facebook, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So why do I bring up the point about Apple iOS 14? The reason why is because this has forced entrepreneurs, especially marketers, businesses, coaches, solopreneurs to level up their content game. And if you are not good on camera, if you haven't been creating content, over the years, and instead you've been using Facebook ads, I guarantee your ROI on ad spend today, as I film this video, 2023, February, is not as good as it was pre-pandemic. A lot of businesses pretty much went under because they were not able to market to their prospect or their potential customers because not only the tracking was not as good, but the cost per acquisition was a lot more than they can afford. And if you know anything about ads, the CPC, CPM, especially ROAS, it was just through the roof so much. So if you had an econ business, let's say your product cost $100 and before it used to cost you $5 to acquire a customer on Facebook or Instagram, that still leaves quite a substantial amount of profit once you've acquired that customer. Fast forward to today, 
you have that same product that you're selling for, let's say $100, it does not cost you $5 to acquire that customer anymore. It's probably 10 times that much. So as you can imagine, it cuts into the bottom line very quick. And therefore, the e-com store or the business or the service is no longer profitable. And this is why it's so important to create content, especially short form. If you're not creating content, as I've mentioned prior in these videos, you are going to get left behind. So that's all I wanted to say in this video about the Apple iOS. In case you didn't understand what I was talking about in my previous videos, that is why. This is also the reason why you're not seeing too many ads from the usual gurus marketers that you used to see in this day and age in this point in time you need to be creating content i've been saying this for years if you're not creating content you're going to get left behind see you in the next video